Now, despite worries that young people may continue to turn their backs on mainstream politics, 7% more of them voted in this year's general election. And a group of teenagers from Dartford can take some of the credit. Bite the Ballot started as an online campaign by students at Wilmington Enterprise College, a school that had been in special measures and was due for closure. It's now being fast-tracked to academy status. And the students are just completing a documentary that's caught the attention of Lord Putnam, one of the world's most successful filmmakers. Thank you, everybody from uh, Wilmington Enterprise College. What's the point of politics? How does it affect me? Who listens to my opinions? Your future will depend on the way you vote. Young people have to remember it's not just the job of everyone else to make them engaged. They have to themselves take, take up the challenge. Hey, I'm just about to vote. First time, I'm kind of excited. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. But I guess it's my chance to make a difference. I'm looking forward to actually putting my opinion across because I've never got to do that before. It's your future. It's your life. Bite the Ballot, be part of your future. Vote. <laughs> Vote. Michael Sarney is the founder of Bite the Ballot, and alongside him in the studio is Adam Crabb, one of the student filmmakers. Uh, Michael, Adam, thank you both very much indeed for coming in. What does Bite the Ballot mean then? Well, Bite the Ballot is a campaign that started at Wilmington Enterprise College uh, in the classroom. I was talking with a few of the students about politics and and they, they just said, honestly, that they didn't know whether they would be voting because they didn't know enough to make an informed decision. And we set about trying to change that. And How did you feel about politics yourself at that stage? Well, it was uh, I started working in the business studies department there. And my head of business at the time, David Hughesman, was very passionate about politics. And it rubbed off on me because before that, I was quite unengaged myself. Um, Adam, what's it been like being involved in this project? Because you've been you know, heavily involved in making the documentary. What has it meant for you? Um, it's like a really good experience. Also, I feel like I'm making a change, um, helping more young people to understand about politics and why it's important to vote. Um, I've been to like the LBC, um, the Roundhouse Theatre, uh, BBC Radio Kent um, last week, and now I'm here on BBC One. And it's just a really good experience for me. Were you politically engaged before all of this started? Um, I was interested, but I didn't know enough about politics. So I thought that was like more of a like, initiative to get involved. Um, I do know more now. I'd, like before the um, campaign started, I didn't know any of my local MPs or candidates, but um, I got uh, the opportunity to meet them all. So what do you make of them? Um, I, Come I, on, tell us the truth. <laughs> There's <laughs> no, a flinch there. I, I do believe like, um, sometimes it's hard for young people to like listen um, and engage with them because obviously like there's quite a big boundary there. Um, but like after I listened to them and started talking to them, I've got like I do have like respect for politicians because it is a tough job. Is it a career that you'd be interested in? Um, I'm more of a business person myself. Okay. I'm going off to university to study business, so um, I did study at AS politics, but no, it's not really for me. Well, you never know. Some people end up going through business and into politics later on. Um, Michael, back to you for a second. Despite the good news, still less than half of the 18 to 24-year-olds are voting. If you look at the over 55s, it's nearly three quarters. So how yeah. do you get that number up even higher? Well, all we're asking is uh, we've got this campaign going. We're going to make a documentary that recalls our journey along the way. We want to get that scene to try and inspire more young people just to say, look, come and have your say, tell us what you think and uh, let your voice be heard and hopefully as we gear up more and more progress, more and more people begin to vote and, and voice their opinion. Why do you think young men are more likely to vote than young women? Because there's quite a disparity. Yeah, it's funny you should say that because uh, we have noticed it along the way, haven't yeah. we? And, and within our team there are more boys than girls. Um, but it's something that I think now we'll begin to record as we, uh, as we go along to see why and ask mm. why. Uh, Adam, you've heard lots of people talking on the politics show this morning. I'm sure you've seen you know, lots of politicians debating oh, yeah. before. Is there any one party that you feel is talking to young people in this country at the moment? Um, I do believe the Lib Liberal Democrats are targeting um, young people. Um, I believe that Nick Clegg has got an understanding for what young people want, and uh, I do like, really respect that. And just a final thought about this big debate that you're hoping to hold in the Commons later in the year. How does that work? Well, we're hoping to uh, have a debate where we want MPs one side of the room, young people the other, and for the first time ever, allow the young people to ask the questions they want answers to. Love to have the cameras on that. Michael, Adam, thank you both very much indeed for coming in. Lovely to talk to you both.